Okay, so we can talk about circulation through the heart. So when it comes to circulation through uh, circulation of blood through the heart, we are going to talk about what happens to the uh, right part of the heart as well as the left part of the heart. Then we would have talked about how blood circulates through the heart. So the first thing is that blood enters through the right atrium from the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. Then from the right atrium, blood is going to flow through the atrioventricular valve and flow into the right ventricle. From the right ventricle, you are going to have the ventricle which is going to contract. And once it contracts, it forces the blood into the pulmonary valve, pushing the blood into the pulmonary vein, and I mean the pulmonary artery. And this pulmonary artery is going to take the blood or distribute the blood through the right and the left pulmonary artery to the lungs. And once blood reaches uh, in the lungs, there's going to be exchange of gases. And at this point, carbon dioxide is going to move from the uh, pulmonary artery into the uh, into the alveoli of the lungs, and then oxygen is going to move from the alveoli, entering the pulmonary artery. So once exchange of gases occurs, blood is going to return to the left part of the heart through the left pulmonary vein, and this is now oxygenated blood. So once blood returns to the heart through the pulmonary vein, it is going to reach the heart through, the, uh, it will enter the heart through the, uh, the left atrium. From the left atrium, blood is going to be pushed or flow through the left atrioventricular valve into the left ventricle. And then from the left ventricle, blood is going to be pushed uh, into the aorta once the left part of the heart contracts and the blood is going to be pushed into the aorta through the aortic valve. And from the aortic, from the aorta, blood is now going to be uh, distributed to the rest of the body or to, the, to every organ in the human body, delivering oxygen to this body tissue while collecting carbon dioxide. And once oxygen is delivered to the body tissue and, ox and carbon dioxide is collected, blood will then return back to the heart through the right atrium and then, I mean, through the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava into the right atrium. And then this oxygenated blood will then be again taken to the lungs uh, for gaseous exchange so that oxygen is added and carbon dioxide is removed through respiration. So this is how blood circulates through the heart to facilitate exchange of gases.